Welcome into this edition of In the Pit with the Twin City News, your closer look at Batesburg Leesville Panther football. I'm Tony Ballman, editor of the Twin City News. Thank you for checking out this edition. And this Friday night, your Panthers 1-0 after a win last week over Ridge Spring Mineta head just up the road to take on the Indians of Gilbert High School. Here with a look ahead to that game is your coach, Gary Adams. All right, back in the pit with Coach uh, Gary Adams. And Coach, Friday night, big game against Gilbert. I mean, last Friday night you played a team that you separated from baseburg Leesville by about six, seven miles. This Friday night you play a team uh, that's separated from baseburg Leesville by about six or seven miles, except you got to play up there where the Indians play. That's a tough place to play football. Yeah, it's always tough uh, going going to Gilbert. Uh, they, they have uh, continued to get better each year. Um, they have a very talented team this year, um, and it'll be a tough environment to play in. They, uh, their fans come out and they support the team, and you know, and, and you know, you you you're in an environment where they are accustomed to uh, welcome to Gilbert America, and uh, that that gets a very becomes a very intense environment on Friday night. So. It'll be a tough game, and um, you know, hopefully we can provide the excitement and the entertainment that we need to for the fans. Well, Coach La Chad Leapard is one of those guys who doesn't let his kids leave anything in the locker room, so uh, they're going to bring everything they can at you because this is one of those X factor type games. It's not a region game; it's right up the. It's it, this is this is one of those rivalry games that that the X factors can play in from the first snap. Well, and you know. I, I played them when I played Gilbert when I was in high school, and it's always been a a good rivalry game. You know, um, um, the kids really get excited about it. Um, the fans get really excited about it. It's one of those games where you know it's not going to help you to make the playoff or anything, but it does provide for a little bit of a boost for your program um, when you're able to uh, play well against close teams that 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 you're traditionally playing against. Um, you know, unfortunately, we have not found the success that we would like over the past couple of years. But it is one of those games that, you know, it helps to build your kids and your team's confidence a little bit. Um, so it, it's one that you, you take seriously. But at the same time, you don't want to go in and end up getting two or three key players hurt because uh, you're trying to put your best foot forward against this particular at this particular game because you got region coming up I mean you it's you've you still got to play for that shot in the playoffs and uh yes even though this is a rivalry game even though it's a big gate for Gilbert and it's going to be a, a big night for the fans you want to make sure that uh that you keep yourself healthy because the season's just getting started I mean we're one game in and you didn't even get a full game in last Friday night yeah and I mean you know we're we're a two-way school and uh you know we're, we're not blessed to have you know 60, 70, 80 players on, on, on the squad, like some of the bigger schools uh, that may uh, have that in their program. You know, so we got to make sure that our elite athletes are, are healthy for, you know, 10 plus weeks. You want to make sure that you get your 10 regular season games and, and whatever else you can manage to survive through in the playoffs. So, you know, it, it's kind of tough. You, you want to make sure you put your best foot forward in these non-region games. Nobody wants to lose a game. You know, I'm a very competitive person. I hate losing. Uh, tell the kids, you know, uh, when I'm playing the game with my son, I, I get upset if he's beating me in the game, um, PlayStation or Xbox. But you don't want to, you know, sacrifice your elite elite players and lose elite players trying to win a game um, that's not going to get you in the playoffs. But you want to, but at all times, I, I want to win. <laughs> okay. So so uh, a loss isn't going to necessarily break your heart. What would a win against Gilbert after after the struggles? What would it mean psychologically for this team going into the rest of the season? Well, I think for the seniors, it, it would mean a lot because I, I, they have not had that to take place. Um, you know, Gilbert has beat us over the past three seasons for sure, um, if not more. But for the rising, for the, our current seniors, it would, it would be a, a, a shift, you know, to say that they actually got a chance to accomplish that before they graduated. Um, Can you build on that as a coach? I mean, they come out second week, uh, second week they beat Gilbert. I mean, you got to be able to build on that as a coach. Well, I think that would definitely help the team's momentum. Um, I mean, there's no doubt it would help the team's momentum. But, uh, you know, our biggest concern is going out and competing. You know, I mean, you know, win or lose that, you know, the numbers will take care of itself. You know, we got to go out and put our best foot forward and play good football, you know, and uh, and let the scoreboard speak for itself. But it would be great. Um, I think it would be a great boost for our seniors. Um, Healthy? 
Uh, pretty much so. Uh, we got a couple of kids that still have not dressed, um, that have not played this season so far. Um, hopefully we'll get those guys back within the next couple of weeks or so. Um, but right now we're, we're, we're pretty healthy. So you're healthy, got a good mindset. You ready for Friday night? Always ready for Friday nights. I mean, that's, that's what you practice for. I mean, uh, nobody wants to just practice all week and not be able to play on Friday. So uh, you're always ready to get Friday night here. We're in the pit, the Twin City News, in the pit with Coach Gary Adams. Coach, we'll talk to you after this week's big game against Gilbert. Big rivalry game. Can't wait to be up there on the purple side of the sidelines. All right. Appreciate it. And that's this edition of In the Pit with the Twin City News, your closer look at batesburg Leesville Panther Athletics. I'm Tony Bauman, editor of the Twin City News. Don't forget, Friday night, it's Gilbert entertaining our batesburg Leesville Panthers. Game time is 7.30. And check out our website on Saturday and Sunday and all next week as we bring you coverage of Panther Athletics right here with the Twin City News. Your community journalism since 1925.